Hi everyone, happy Tuesday evening to you all. It's so interesting to be here in the evening when the sun is blasting through our window. It feels like it's gonna be a good evening, I don't know. Um, thank you for being here tonight with us. I'm interested to see what sort of crowd we have here for an evening live. I know some of you, it's still like three o'clock, you West Coasters. Um, but I'm super excited to be here. Sorry for being a few minutes late. I was trying to remember how to discount something on our website. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I figured it out. And we are talking about Illustrator today, so I wanted to give you all a special discount on our Illustrator course. So I went ahead and marked it down $40, which makes our Illustrator course $160. Now, if you have no idea what our Illustrator course is, we'll talk about it in a little bit. But for those of you who know what it is and maybe we're waiting for a good sale, it will never be any more than this. This is it. We'll Take never, advantage. Yeah, never be any more than this. So grab um, the link that Rachel is sharing with you. Purchase the Illustrator course. And I'm going to tell you why you want this Illustrator yeah. course in a little bit. Now, ask uh, any and all questions that you have, Becca. Yes. Is um quite literally a an illustrator professional to be able to teach cut files so any questions throw them her way and we'll get those answered for you yes i'm so excited so tonight specifically the title of this live which i made myself and then <laughs> begged rachel to change because i'm not good with titles and seo and she thought that i was joking yeah. um is making cut files is easy so while making cut files is easy SEO titles is not for me. So I, I, that's why I'm not teaching you about SEO. I'm teaching you about cut files. Exactly. Tonight we are going to be making a cut file in Illustrator, but what we're doing is taking a file that's already an Oakenland file and adapting it. So we had, I don't know, is Nanette here this evening? Nanette is a school teacher of Littles and requested a specific type of file. She wanted a file that was an animal, any sort of animal. She pictured several, which was really helpful. And basically what it does, it's cardstock and it will fold up and hold an Easter egg. She wanted to give that to her students for Easter. And I thought that was the cutest idea. Super creative too. Very creative. And I wanted, we have so many files on our website that you could adapt in this way that I wanted to do it for you all and answer any questions that you might have about Illustrator. I love to answer questions. I love to help troubleshoot in Illustrator. Making cut files is literally my passion. I love to craft. I love all things crafty, but specifically making cut files. I love the graphic design aspect. I love having nothing and having this amazing, or starting with nothing and having this amazing graphic in the end. I love being able to come up with ideas or see something and want to change X, Y, and Z on it and be able to do that to create my own graphic. It is priceless to have this knowledge. So if any of those things that I just said have run through your mind before, you need this Illustrator course and you need to watch this video. Yeah. So I'm now, of course, we've gotten people like Scott and Kristen who have taken the course and are... I swear we haven't paid these people. They have actually paid us to buy the course. Yes. And they love it. So I just want to let you guys know we do have people here that can vouch for just the quality of this course. I do have to mention this is not the first Illustrator course Beck has created. Nope. She has created three. All teaching the same things. I feel like they get better every time as she hones her skills. And this one is quite literally perfect. So it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank you. We'll get started in just a second. Kat says we're eating dinner with her. I hope you're eating good. I had a peanut butter and jelly open face sandwich. I'm not going to lie. I was really excited about it. Does open face mean one piece of bread instead of two? But I ate both of them. Wait, one one slice. Toast. Of two bread. pieces of toast. Toast. One with slice. Peanut butter and jelly. Okay. So, so, I'm so sorry. like a sandwich, but. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go on a I didn't mean to chase a squirrel. I was just, I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> More peanut butter and jelly. You sure, know. sure, sure, sure. I don't want to share it with the no, other piece of bread. No. no. Anyway, I never eat peanut butter and jelly, and I was craving it. So I love a good I do too. And jelly. I do too. Homemade sloppy joes, coleslaw, and tater tots. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Avocado chocolate pudding. I used to make that for Bex. He loved it. Okay. So if there are no questions specifically about the Illustrator course or anything, let's jump over onto my computer and get started. So I'm using, and I'll. Can you see my mouse? Do I need to make it bigger? I would make it bigger. I can't make it huge because I won't be able to see no, what no. I'm trying to do. But I am going to make it a little bit bigger for you all. Maybe like that. Okay. And then I'm going to grab... Oh, there's our text messages. <laughs> Sorry, right? 
Oh, like I care. Um, this little piggy here. We're going to use this little piggy. Oh, he's so cute. To create the exact sort of thing that I'm talking about. Now, let me really quickly come in here and find some other ones. Oh my gosh, Becky says, I'm still in the beginning of the course. And I have to say, Becca is a great teacher. Totally worth getting this course. And by the way, guys, these are from people who did not even get this much of a discount. And if they're happy... <sighs> <laughs> you guys will be too. And this is even more of a discount. $40 off is a great price. But thank you all so much for taking the time to comment how much you loved the course. So this is the type of thing that we're going to be creating. I've gone ahead and made this little unicorn one. This will be on the site uh, when, when I launch all of them. Hopefully next week I'll be launching these with some other fun Easter things. But this is what we're going for. So it has the hole here. It has the bottom. And then it has the front and the back. So, let's open this piggy up here. Did I already drag it in here? Oh, that's another little sneaky sneak. Um, here's the pig. This is on the website already, the pig is. I pulled it in there, apparently I didn't. Let me close some of these tabs. Paulina said, I'm so excited about this live because I've been making a lot of stickers and can't always find cut files that I like. I think that's an incredibly great reason to want to create your own not so just too. like search the internet until you find the one you like and then pay like seven dollars for it but you can make your own yeah i uh, think there's so much freedom in that like if you see it or you have a design in your head you're just like let's do it i love it wow i uh, keep losing all my tabs here Great question. Do you have to be a member? You do not. It's a great question. membership is not just for members. Anybody can purchase this membership. Uh, feel free to ask any and all questions. I did post the link down below. I will continue to scatter it through the comments as well. Okay, so this file right here, as is, let's kind of dissect this and look and see what we're looking at here. So over here in the layers panel, we can see all of these different layers. Now, this is the exact type of file that you would want if you were pulling it into design space and wanted to cut things out of heat transfer vinyl and cardstock and different things like that. See all of these fun different layers. Now, how this differs, like, yes, all of these layers are individual, um, but for this particular type of project, I'm going to want a solid base and then I want to add the layers on top of it. Does that make sense? So if I am layering cardstock on top of this, then if I just cut this piece out and just cut this piece out, when I, when I put them together, there's nothing to glue it to. I could like glue the, the back or something like that, but th it could be a problem. So what I want to do first is grab this entire file Hold on, let me do one thing, because I know, let me look at this really quickly. Well, I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'll show you how to troubleshoot this. I'm gonna grab this entire file, and what I want to do is, under my Pathfinder tool, I'm going to unite this, which is basically like welding it. So if you're familiar with Design Space, I might use some terms interchangeably to help you understand. So this is called Unite, but we're gonna weld it, basically. So when I do that, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there are lines in here. If I were to save this and import it into Design Space, it's going to cut out the outline of the pig like I want, but it's also going to cut this right here, and I don't want that. So let's press Command Z to undo. And then I want to pull these up. So when I zoom in, I can see that there is space in between the bottom of the leg and the top of the little hooves. So let's just move these up just a tiny bit. That looks good. And then because I know that I want all of these pieces, I'm going to duplicate this. So I'll select everything and press uh, Command C, Command V for copy and paste. Now I'm gonna select everything and unite again. And now when we do that, these cut lines right here are not are, are exactly where they should be. Um, but I have this right here and I have this right here. So there's a couple of things that you can do to get rid of this. Um, I could have basically undone this and gone back and moved the things, or because it's not a cut line all the way through, I can grab my curvature tool, this guy right here, and I'm going to click in here and see the different points that are in here. So these are called anchors. 
and I can select one and delete it. Select this one and delete it. And when I do that, it gets rid of those extra um, lines that would be cut lines. So I'm going to do the same thing right here. And you don't have to do this with all files. This is just this particular file because it happens to be like this. And can I ask a couple quick questions? Yes. Okay. The first one is, do you have to have a laptop or computer that is a touch screen to use Illustrator? No, mine is not a touch screen. In fact, I prefer a mouse or a clicker with mine. And have you seen any changes or noticed any changes from the Illustrator's version of 2022 into the 2023? No, year? I haven't noticed anything. Okay, great. Mine says 2022. Mine's Adobe Illustrator 2022. It's a great question. Illustrator, for as long as I've been using it, doesn't actually update that frequently, which is nice. So you're not constantly having to worry about features being moved or changed or anything thing. like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I, it's, it's kind of perfect. I mean, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's it's very it's a very solid program. So why change it, right? Okay, so now that I have that, I am going to start pulling these features over. So I don't actually need this guy, and I don't need this because I have the body right here, right? I'm gonna undo and just keep it here though, so that we can see placement wise. One other thing that I want to do this right here and this right here are two separate pieces. And when I cut them out of cardstock, I'm just gonna want them to be one piece because it's the same color. So what I am going to do is select them, hold in shift and select the other layer, and I'm going to unite them together. So when I do that, it becomes all one piece, just like I want. And then what I'm going to do can you see how the his little legs kind of overlap right here? When I'm using cardstock, I'm going to want those pieces to butt up exactly like they're supposed to, so I don't have to worry about any of the position. Like, there's no guesswork for position. That's so smart. So what I'm going to do is select this. So the little hooves are selected, and this is selected. And I'm going to use my Shape Builder tool. Now, before I go any further... All of these tools that I am showing you here, I'm kind of speeding through these, right? So if you need in-depth instructions on all of these tools, that is in our Illustrator course. Yes. We literally have an entire video on just the Shape Builder tool. We have an entire video on just the Curvature tool. Um, so all of these techniques and tools that I'm using and that I use all the time have very in-depth videos and instructions. And we use them so many times throughout the course. Uh, one thing that I like to say is there are a lot of tools here in Illustrator that you're never going to use as a cut file creator. There's just no point in it. There's so, and so I don't teach so it. There's so many buttons. It's so overwhelming. If you've yeah. never opened Illustrator, I know it can be so overwhelming. It doesn't have to be. I am not going to teach you things in Illustrator that you don't need because it's a waste of time. Yeah. It's a waste of time. So um, don't feel overwhelmed when I'm going through all of these tools and all the terminology and things like that because the course is literally like an Illustrator for Dummies course. It is so amazing. You don't have to have any background of graphic design. You don't have to have any background of Illustrator or anything like that to be successful in creating cut files. And I'm not just teaching you graphic design. I'm teaching you creation of cut files, which is different than graphic design. One thing, uh, and I actually mentioned it today in a video, I did a screen share. We had a member who received a cut file from a client. They wanted a graphic on the back of their shirt. And when she opened the cut file, it was a nightmare. There was no way in the world that she could use that file, even though it was an SVG, to cut out layers individually because of the way that it was made. Now, the graphic was adorable. The design was adorable, but it was not created for use with a die cut machine. And that really does make a difference. It also makes a difference if you're using it for laser cutters and things like that. So this course is particularly good for you if you are a die cut crafter or a laser cut crafter and need graphic for it yeah now we have two shout outs let's two. hear it number one it is miss bernice's very first live with us welcome she said she's so excited that she found you and we are equally if not more excited that you found us we as well, are Ms. so excited yes well thank you so much for being here and spending your afternoon with us ask us any questions and miss Lori said she just purchased the course <gasps> yay miss Lori! we're I cannot so excited wait. for you Lori.
for we each will other. send you a welcome email with a link to join the private Facebook group for the illustrator course it is separate from the core or the private group for wow. the membership and that is where you'll get your continued support for illustrator so if you have any issues any troubleshooting questions you can post them there please tag me if I'm not personally tagged at Becca Myers Oaks in the group then I don't get a notification and sometimes I miss those things so if there's something that you specifically want me to look at please tag me or email us hello at oakenlane.com I definitely want to make sure that I'm not overlooking your all's questions because that's why I'm here I'm here to be a teacher here in this this course setting but also to walk hand in hand with you along your journey I, I like to say it's not hey here's the course purchase it you're on your own good luck yeah no I'm always with you yeah it's amazing Okay, so back over here in Illustrator, um, like I said, I'm gonna grab the Shape Builder tool and I want to, the cool thing about the Shape Builder tool and we go more in depth with it in the course is it does several things. So if I wanted to, I'm just gonna show you. If I wanted to, I can hold this in with Option and click it and it kind of, it will void what was over, uh, crossed over. Now, I, I don't need that in this particular cut file, but that does come in useful. Actually, I will a little bit later. I will use it a little bit later, but I'm gonna press undo. Uh, so I press command Z to undo that. And with the shape builder tool, I'm just going to combine right here. So when I click and hold and drag over, now this piece right here will butt up. So it basically deleted the overlap of this back layer. Now what, let's watch again. And you can see when I select both. So here's the overlap of the back layer. Can you see that? When I select both, use that Shape Builder tool, drag, click and drag, it gets rid of that back layer. Oh, it's so amazing, right? It's so satisfying. It is too. so I satisfying. Love it. So, a couple other things. Let's, um, for this particular thing, I'm going to delete the little shiny parts of his eye just because cutting this out of cardstock, it's going to be teeny tiny. I don't have to place all of that. It's just a personal preference. Do whatever you'd like. Yes, Rachel. I need to have another fat head to hold up. Yeah, yeah what happened to that fat head? And one of our kids it, eat it. It got coffee all over it, remember? So I <laughs> just throw it away. Anyways, <clears throat> unrelated. Uh, Miss Paulina says, when you create a cut file, do you sketch it on paper before you start it with it on Illustrator? She said, it's so hard for me to believe that you said you cannot draw and your cut files are so cute and amazing. Can't draw. I'm terrible at it. I cannot draw. Do I do not sketch it. Do you if, remember the cats? If you remember, do you remember I, the cats? No. If I sketched this out, it would be a nightmare. Now, I can hand letter, and I will hand letter in Procreate, save it as a PNG, and pull it into Illustrator, and then convert that. So if you can draw and you have a program like Procreate, there's a video in this course that shows you how to convert that into an SVG. It's Pro, super yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, but no, I cannot draw. Of everything. I cannot draw. So I'm a visual person. If I see something, a lot of times I'll see, for instance, I don't remember how I came up with this pig, but I will search Google search, um, images of pigs. Right. And I, I'm like, I like pigs, the yeah. eyes from that one. I like the feet from this one. I like the head from this inspired, one. I like the body yeah. like that. And I'll kind of look at things and put it together like that. Um, you should never look at a graphic and completely copy it. That is not legal well, and it's just not creative no like, it's not because also when you're looking for a specific graphic nine out of ten times you'll find something you don't like about it or something you wish you could change yeah hence why it's so great to make your own and i think once you get going it just makes it a lot easier to get out of the habit of even thinking about totally copying something because you have the skills to make it your own if you can draw it if you are a good artist um then i show i kind of show how i in the course, I don't kind of, I do show. If I were to draw something, I would take a picture of it, scan it, whatever, pull it into Illustrator, and then start mapping it out with my pen and curvature tool. And yeah. we go through all of that in the course. Um, so if you are artistic, pff, go you. That's amazing. I have to read this comment as it was written from okay. Miss Christina. Hey, Flock fam, ooh la la, Becca, your hair is all caps, saucy. Saucy. With like seven Ys. I like it. And then she says, love. Thank you. It's so cute. You are so sweet. I got my roots done today. Yeah. Because it had been three months. Uh, Fallon said, mommy, your hair's turning black. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Kids will always. You can really count on them for some really great advice. So Anna did my color. I also did her color. Um, and then she did my hair. Okay. Thank you. That was very sweet. Uh, back over here, 
I have my eyes, I have my mouth, I have my feet, my hooves whatever we're calling them. And you can see the mouth is dark gray. I'm just going to make a compound path out of all of this so that it is all one color, all black, and it's all one layer. So what happens when I create a compound path, you can see right here, we have this layer, this layer, this one, this one, and this one, all different layers. And when I press Command-8 to create a compound path, look what happens. We now have one layer, and it's all one color. Now I can change the color of this back to black if I want to. But what's going to happen when I pull this into design space, this will show up as one layer instead of whatever it was, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different layers, which is nice when you are uh, having to think about mats and when you are having to think about placement. If I were doing this out of vinyl or heat transfer vinyl, then I wouldn't necessarily want to manually place each of these and having them already import as one layer is just really helpful. Um, so let's see here. Let me think about this. Let's grab everything. I don't need this and I don't need this. And I'm probably going to get, I'll keep that. It's cute. Let's make it a compound path. Command eight. That's cute. And when I, when you make something a compound path, so this was layered behind here before, but when you make something a compound path, it brings it to the front um sometimes and when it does that you just need to right click and press arrange send to back so that his little nostrils are back there now what i'm going to do is just select all of this and pull it over here and place it right here we'll bring it to the front okay so that one is ready exactly like that now for the back of this i'm just going to duplicate this back layer so Command-C, Command-V, just like this. And then I'm going to make the little piece that connects these together. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can make all of this one solid piece if you wanted to by rotating this, pulling it over here, and then attaching the piece that I'm getting ready to make. However, um, depending on how big you want to make this, especially if you want to do print and cut. Now, since the print and cut restrictions size restrictions have increased, it is probably not a problem, but if you wanted to make this print and cut before, then it could be too big by the time you made it on one piece. Anyway, let's grab a rectangle from our basic shapes right here. Grab our little rectangle, and I'm gonna put this right here, and I'm going to grab a circle, which is also the ellipse tool. I'm gonna click and it doesn't matter what size, but I do want it to be symmetric. So 18 by 18, or I'm in pixels, whatever, whatever size you want. And then I'm just gonna change the color so that I can see where I'm placing it. Now I should have measured this. Let me open up a new one that's in inches. I thought it was in inches. It over here okay so this circle is 1.93 almost two inches so that's gonna be pretty big for the bottom of an egg I'm gonna make it one and a half inches 1.5 okay now I'm going to center this vertically and horizontally so I'm, I've selected both of the layers and we'll come over to our line panel or our line menu center it horizontally, center it vertically. And I'm gonna go ahead, I can do this two different ways. I can select both of these, both layers, and under the Pathfinder tool, click click to minus front, which is kind of like slicing. So I can do it that way. Or I could have used my Pathfinder tool, or Shape Builder tool, I'm sorry, Shape Builder tool, hovered over, clicked option, and then clicked. So a couple different ways to do that. Neither one is better than the other. Now what I want to do is, I want to grab these, this little piggy, eh, let me duplicate this one. I'm going to copy and paste here because I'm going to slice this part off. So let's grab a rectangle tool and I'm going to slice like this. I want the bottom of the feet to be sliced off. 
Uh, that looks good and I can fix it in a second. Okay, so again, I'm gonna select both of these layers and then use my Pathfinder tool that click to minus front. Oh, wrong one, I'm sorry. This one, click to intersect. And when I, you push that one, then what is covered up remains. Let's do that again. So with both of them selected, this is on top. Let me change the color so you can see. This is on top, this is behind. When I select both, if I push the click to minus front, then what is not covered up remains. If I push click to intersect, then what is covered up remains. So there you go. I'm gonna change the color of this to this color. And to do that, I can press the I button on my keyboard, which is the eyedropper tool. Come over here and select. Now, all of these things, every single thing that I'm teaching you in here is in depth in the course. I cannot stress that enough. Everything I'm teaching is there. So the reason that I did this is because I want this to end up budding up right here. And I want this to be here, just like this. And it will end up like intersecting and being adorable. So let's pull that down here. We will make sure that it's centered and then you can see right here, there's a little bit of this left. I don't want that. So let's grab our Pathfinder or our Shape Builder tool. I keep calling it the wrong thing. Option, get rid of that. And then lastly, I want to duplicate this part. So Command C, Command V. And then I want to flip it because this is going to be flipped. So what I am going to do is right click transform, reflect, and then you can flip it vertically or horizontally. I want mine horizontally, just like that. I'll pull it up like this so that it butts up there. And then I'm going to select everything here and I'm going to unite it. So we're gonna weld it all together. Now last on here, I am going to grab a line segment tool I'm going to just click here and you can, um, I, I'm going to start with 0.75 inches. I know it's, I know it's longer than that, but if you wanted yours to be vertical, then you could change the angle, but because I want mine horizontal, I'm just going to leave it at zero. Now I'm going to increase the length here. Now, did you see how mine went up? The angle changed. If I hold in shift and then pull out, then it just moves in 45 degree angles instead of random angles. So that's what I like to do if I'm just trying to, to elongate it without having to worry about um, pulling it out of sorts. One thing that we can do is increase the stroke line here so that we can see how big it is. And I am just going to put this here. This is going to be a score line. And then I'm going to duplicate it, Command C, Command V will be a score line here. So I'll have a score line here and a score line here. And what I can do is select both of them and press command eight so that they're one layer and that they won't move on me when I pull it into design space. The last thing that I need to do here for this file is put my little circle right here where the, the egg will show through. So again, with my shape builder tool, I'm going to grab an ellipse and just kind of make an elongated oval -y shape. And Beth wanted to make sure that everyone who was wondering, uh, the course works, of course, great for Windows laptops as well, because yes. that's what she uses. Thank you for saying that. So I want to put the little egg right about here. And I need this to go through these layers or this layer and these layers. So this is where that shape builder tool will come into play. I could do these individually if I wanted to, but if I select all the layers, so the, the pig background here and the leg and the oval, go to my shape builder tool, then I hold in shit or hold in option. See how this is overlapping. This is where the shape builder tool is so neat. If I hold an option and just click here, then it goes all the way through both layers and just gets rid of that. Then I can hold an option and click this part and this part. Now, let's undo that so we can see what the other option is. If I just wanted it to go through this layer, 
then with this layer and this layer selected and my shape builder tool, I can do that. If I just wanted it through the back layer, then I can do that and it doesn't touch these. So it's really neat, it's a very cool tool. There's lots of different things here in Illustrator. And then also, um, I think I can, let me see. Nope, just kidding. Option, option, click, click. We are good to go. And then what I always do before I save a file is come over to my layers panel and just browse to see if anything looks odd. You more times than not want everything to be a compound path. So let's go through and make sure everything's a compound path. This is not, oh, this is good that this was in here. Okay, so let's click each layer. That Miss Stacy would like to know what is the quote unquote option to hold while using the shape builder tool. What do you mean by that? Option is a button on a Mac. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have a whole cheat sheet in the course um, that gives you those hotkeys and it also gives you the alternative for PC users. So it has the Mac buttons and the PC. So it's like a little, like a little printout. Yes. That, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Super cute. Okay, so this first layer is the score lines. Then we have this, just clicking through to make sure everything looks right. That looks good, compound path, another compound path, another one. Now we have this. What is this random guy? We don't need him. A lot of times if we say, this is an extra anchor and what can happen with that is if there's like an overlap. Remember when I deleted that piece that came all the way through here, I could have accidentally used my um, pen tool and added an anchor when I did that and not even known about it. Or maybe I just didn't delete one. Um, if you pull this, if you save this and pull it into design space, a lot of times what will happen is there will be a random black line that comes from like here to here and it looks weird in design space. So those are the types of things that we look for when we are getting ready to finalize a cut file so that when you are especially if you're selling cut files, you want a cut file to be as perfect as possible for the person who's buying it. You don't want any difficulties. Um, so look for these things. I have a whole video in the course about how to find issues, troubleshoot them, what to look for and that type of thing. And that's another thing that I like to do a lot in the private Facebook group is show you how I troubleshoot other things. So let's go ahead and delete that. I'm just going to click the anchor, press delete on my keyboard, and then I'm going to check this last layer. It looks good. Now let's export this. So we're going to save it, export it, egg holder pig, and we're saving it as an SVG. An SVG is a vector-based image. If you are cutting out layers in Design Space or on your Glowforge, then you want an SVG. You want layers and vector-based. If this is just going to be a print and cut, you can save it as a PNG. If you save it as a PNG, those score lines that you added will not show up though. So that's something to think about. So let's change this format to SVG. We'll export it. I'm just going to save it on my desktop here. And then I'm going to pull it into design space. Oh, there's a little sneaky sneak. So <laughs> Look how cute. Pull it here into design space. Uh, egg holder pig. Open. And let's see if there's any issues with it. There could be issues. Design space doesn't want to work. Upload. And everything looks amazing. I love when that works out. Sometimes I'll pull these in here and it takes me a while to go back and forth to figure out where the anchors are or what's going on with it. Um, but so every, everything is good. So what you would do at this point is just ungroup this, grab this layer, change it to score attach it to this and click make it. And then you would cut it out of cardstock. Now, also the cool thing about this, if I decided, oh, I don't want it to do that. I have the update. I wanted to show you the other way that you could use this file. Darn it. Okay, I'll do it in a second. Shame. Give me a second. 
I always prefer creating SVGs over PNGs. I always prefer using SVGs over PNGs because you can flatten an SVG and use it in the same way as a PNG. Now, where you cannot use SVGs in place of PNG is if you have a element that is textured or swirled or the layers have more than one color. You cannot save an SVG with a layer that has more than one color or texture or anything like that without, it won't save because it's a vector. It's not, it doesn't have pixels in it. Um, but we go through all of that in the course. We talk about uh, creating PNGs. I show you how to create masks and do a bunch of other fun stuff. Um, if you want to create PNGs for things just like sublimation or print and cut or something like that. So all of that is in the course. It's so amazing. Um, are we back on my computer? Yes. Uh, okay. We just lost it actually. My computer? Yeah. Okay. Let me. Uh, but I'll switch it to you while okay. we're figuring that out again. A um, couple questions. Okay. Paulina says my laptop is old, but it serves its purpose. Could Illustrator potentially run slow because of that? It could. Yeah, it could. Um, I would recommend cleaning your computer up. Um, look into it, see if you can get, I don't know what kind of computer you have. Uh, maybe some different, uh, different, I don't know. Talk to some people. Um, it could run slow, yes. But um, if you're running a current operating system, uh, you can check Illustrator, check Adobe's website, and see what you need on your computer as far as operating system and things like that in order for it to work. So uh, that is a, an option. And uh, we had a friend here that said, what exactly is a compound path? A compound path? You know, actually, that's a great question. Like the definition for I it? I don't know the definition of, of a yeah. compound path. I do know that it create it takes several layers and it makes it into one. Let's actually look at let's look at that. That's a great question. And then Amy, while you're looking that up, Amy said, I'm late, but I'm here. And my favorite topic, the course took me from being overwhelmed with Illustrator to loving it. That's so sweet. A path with holes in it is called a compound path. If you convert a letter such as B or O into outlines, the letter is automatically converted into a compound path. That does not answer the question. Nope, sorry. <laughs> okay, this does. A compound path consists of two or more paths that interact with each other. Compound paths are used when you need to show a part of an underlying object through a hole in another object. Imagine a flat donut on a plate. The outer edge of the donut is defined by one path and the donut hole of the another. And so what happens basically is if I create a path like this, when I put a circle in design space and it just has like a regular stroke or something like that, then it sees only the one line and we go through all of this in design or in the course too. It only sees the one line. So it would only have one cut line. If I had like a wide stroke around that and I wanted it to cut on either side, then I have to um, create that path on either side of it. Hopefully that makes sense. But all of that's in the course. <laughs> in layman's terms, because obviously I didn't know the technical term. That may, it kind of sounds bad, but you don't need to know that in order to be successful. <laughs> but I love that question. I have, nobody's ever asked me that before. That's a great question. Thank you for asking. Um, was there another question? Nope. I okay. Think you're good. So back in design space, I wanted to show you the other way to use this file. If I wanted to not take out all the time to cut all of this individually, then because this is an SVG, I just select this right here, press flatten. I don't have to, um, this right here, I would change from basic cut to print and cut. And then the same with this print and cut. And I can still use, um, uh, hold on, it is attached. Let me or detach. Change this to print and cut. And then I can still attach these score lines to this print and cut. And then I can just print this out, cut it, and have it that way. So that's the advantage of doing an SVG over PNG. Are there any questions? Not we are I going right now. We are going to make this not tonight. We're going to make it as a member only live video something over in the private Facebook group um, and probably a couple of others because it's really fun. I think it's going to be really cute. We'll probably do print and cut, and we'll do. 
um, just the different layers in the private Facebook group. So if you're a flock member, be looking for that. I'm excited to do that with you all. It's going to be adorable. But hit me with any questions that you have about cut flock creation, about our illustrator course, which is $40 off. If you're just joining us, I mentioned earlier, it will never be any less expensive than it is right now. So if you've been wanting to purchase the illustrator course, or if you just happened upon us, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, but, and have been thinking about creating cut files and if you can do that or not, click the link. You do not have to have a code. It is automatically marked down for you. I wanted to make it easy for you and, um, let us know how long does it sell for? That's a great question, Jen. Uh, we haven't talked about it because I just told Rachel that I wanted to discount it even more literally two minutes before the live, <laughs> which I'm fine with that. Yes. Um, so we'll, we'll at least chat about that. And then at least a week. Oh, at, at least, least a week. A week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because, and then one friend said, I think, who, who was it? A donkey Amy. would be cute, Kat. Amy said she wanted to wait till her um, income tax finally came in to grab it. She said this is the first thing she's buying, which, by the way, is so sweet. I didn't, maybe, yeah, I yeah. love that. How much is the course? Penny it is says. on sale. It's forty dollars off, so it's on sale for quick math. Quick math. One sixty. One sixty. I forget how much the course was originally. Yeah. I get it in the membership all messed up. Well, they're both the same price. No, one's one ninety nine. Oh my gosh! <laughs> A penny. One sixty. I'm so sorry. I would say I'm not normally this dingy, but I am. <laughs> And I wanted a donkey too. Yes, I think it would look really cute. Thank you, Susan. You know what would be so cute? A koala. Oh, a koala a would koala. be cute. Or a sloth. People love sloths. A llama. That one might be hard. Well, we have long legs. We have llama files. I'm sure we, we could adapt it. We do have llama files. I did a game controller <gasps> that has two egg holders. Yes. Ugh. Yeah, I'm excited oh, about that one. Oh, cute. Um, am I the only one who skips over St. Patty's Day decor and goes straight to Easter? I skip over it. I don't, I don't really decorate. I don't seasonally either. except for I don't christmas either. same same some people have like a like a 12 foot christmas tree that they decorate for each season if you're one of those people you know what you deserve like a, a raise in life in general i hope they have like an extra closet just for all of Me that too. like i hope you have like, the best storage space in the world like honestly you have to spend so much time and money just taking the stuff down putting it back up good for you though spirit christina said i already have easter stuff all over my house i'm right there with you christina i have to be and lisa's probably watching or she will <laughs> later i have to be honest alan and lisa are coming to the house tomorrow with ann and mark we're gonna play games and eat foods and all the stuff and i called wayne on the way over here and said clean the toilet make sure it's good for company and take down the christmas decor <gasps> no because we took down the christmas decor yeah. forever ago but l somehow left up the stuff in the half bath and it's not my bathroom i don't use it so wayne right. does so i never look at it Maybe she, maybe we should take the nativity down out of the bathroom. I thought it was so cute. What it was two weeks ago that I was there. I thought it was so festive in there. I loved it. I loved it. Did you? The little plunger tree still behind the toilet. Uh -huh. Loved it. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Hit the like button, folks. Yes, Jenny. Thank you for reminding us. Dolphin with a boho theme. You mean like a. A boho. <laughs> like. You want the dolphin to wear like stop. Whatever you're thinking, you just need to stop. Love beads and tinted stop. glasses. Stop. I have to pee. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> oh. Guys, I've been keeping a secret. And I still have to keep the secret until tomorrow. Drum roll, please. No, I'm kidding. But I'm dying to get we're filming a video tonight. Right now, actually. Yeah. Like, as soon as we say yeah. bye. Rachel has makeup on and everything. Right? I mean. Because we've been keeping a secret. Big secret. And we're really excited about it. So, look for a video tomorrow. <laughs> now, I, ooh, ooh, let's talk about, ooh. Uh, uh. Okay, let's, I think, I don't know. Becca, I want to premiere it. Okay. But secretively. Like, the title will be vague. No, the, it can't be vague. The, the, well, I'll change it. Like, right when it, right when we air. Okay. But I want to, I want to premiere it with a vague -ish title and a, not, not vague thumbnail, like, cute, but I, I really want to premiere it. Well, you know what I could do is make the thumbnail 
normal and then I'll blur out all the stuff <gasps> and then change it last minute. We are thinking yeah. so we're so smart. All guys. Yeah. Great. Cause I want you guys to be able to call me and, and watch with us. Wouldn't that be fun, Becca? I want that to happen. Yeah, I can't spill the beans. I am sworn to secrecy. This is no. not my secret to keep. I no. wish it was. If it was their secret, we it is exciting. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so fun. It's so fun. Um Tomorrow, it'll be before lunch. I'm, I'm told 10, and I think they're central. So. She's already giving micro hints. Literally no information. She's giving micro hints. Ah. <sighs> Don't be mean, Rebecca said. It is mean, Renee. So it's no, it's not going to be live. It's going to be a pre-recorded video. We, we will premiere it uh, for tomorrow. What? We have to make 100% sure of the time where I tell you. Check back tonight because I'm going to yes, put we'll it on. Yes, we'll have it tonight. We'll have I'll it have it on there tonight. tonight so that you guys can click and make sure you have your notifications set up and, and timers set and ready to go. Uh, no, unfortunately, Anna isn't coming here full time. And, and Not and, yet. We want her to, but I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah. Um, our fourth quarter, we tanked. It was bad. Yeah. It was really bad. Fourth yeah. quarter was really bad here. Yeah. It was not... Um, what we were hoping for at all. So it's a struggle right now. Yeah. Anna will not be coming anytime soon. No, sorry, Anna. <laughs> Th this is this is a good question, Megan. It is a it's craft related. It's a, it's a professional. It's nothing personal. No one's yeah. pregnant. <laughs> it's just it's a professional secret that's super fun that we're so excited about. It's really exciting. Yeah. We're so excited. Cat said, "You guys are mean." I'm sorry, Cat. No one told me this whole back wall was blown out. That's annoying. You, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's still blown out. It is. Why is it so bright? It's always there. It's 10% like it always is. I didn't touch it, I swear. I well, no, I, actually, I had to touch it because I plugged in the... You could blame Remind me. Remind me to change that before we do our video. That's okay. annoying. Our video has to be so professional because we have makeup on and everything. Um, Thank you, Kat. She said, buy the course, keep these gals in business. Yeah, we need we need to pay our bills and taxes and we love you. <laughs> taxes. <laughs> taxes. Um <laughs> I just saw your ear post. <laughs> Some jerk. <laughs> Zip me ears after that flock talk. It was so funny. It, oh my gosh. It, Fallon was so confused why there were ears. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. It's so good. I keep secrets too, Beth. Shirley, I'm dying. I am dying to tell you all. Just wait. It'll be worth the wait. You guys will love it. Uh, what can members do to help you all make more money? Spread the word. That's Let one us, of the sweetest things yeah, I ask Yeah, that well. is so sweet. Yeah. So sweet. Tell everyone about the Illustrator course. Yeah, actually, we are getting ready. We are we are bearing down. We are starting email marketing. Rachel has taken a fun course on email marketing. Woo! And so, like, we know what we need to do. We just have to have time to do it. And, and money to do and it. And it is a priority right now. And we know, like, you have to spend money to make money. Like, we know... When we say we know the in, ins and outs of this business, we do. We, you know, Beck and I would be looking for other jobs right now if we didn't know the ins and outs of this business. Yes. We know exactly what we need to do to really get it going. But with only two of us, it's a little hard sometimes. But listen, we got we got big stuff in the works. We're super excited. Can you add gift membership as a product? Yes, I can. I actually, um, we have had people who have gifted memberships before. And so basically what we do is like a gift certificate. It's like a purchase of a gift certificate yeah. and do it that way. But yeah. that's so sweet. You guys are so helpful. Honestly. Incredible. We don't deserve you. Uh, will you be able to use the cut file flowers you will be releasing as print and cut? You can, but they won't look very pretty. Yeah, like because they're going to be like not shaded or, you know. Or 3D kind of yeah well and then when you're when you're flattening three essentially identical layers in color and everything to one another then it will kind of just look like a circle yeah yeah i mean you can flatten them for sure Stacey, if you have another idea of how you want to do it stacy said my fourth quarter sucked too stacy i'm sorry nothing is worse in a business than being like so so amped up and being so let down but hey we're recovering you know I need a course on email marketing too. Where'd you take yours, Rachel? 
Do well, what? hers is more, hers is more, it's not the ins and outs of email marketing. I mean, it is, but it's more of the actual program it's, that it's we're It's for using. a specific program. So, yeah. yeah. MailChimp. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've, I've worked in MailChimp before. I'm going to say like five years ago. It's been a long time. There's been lots of updates. So it's, I'm hoping it's going to be like riding a bike. Like I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. But nah, we'll see. We will see. What question? First cricket craft you made and paying the first income. Huh? Can you elaborate? Yeah. Ask us a different. I think she almost means what craft did we make first that actually made us like made us money. Beth says I'm happy to share my social media and marketing knowledge on how to measure impact and tie activity to success. Beth, let's connect. Um, I'm always I am always open for input. I'm wanting to wait until I hear Nikki's. I want to answer a question. I want to make sure. Me too. I love your profile picture. Is a, a unicorn. Who's it? It's a little Nikki's. How little, can you see that? It's a little baby unicorn. I think I have a kidney stone. My back is killing me right now. Oh, and you know what that feels like? Cause you've had many a kidney stone. Yeah, it's normally on the other side though. I've never had. That's bad. Is it on your back? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm getting the cold sweats. The cold, what? Uh, are you? Mm-hmm. It hurts. Oh, Becca, no. This is not what we need right now, not for you. I don't know if Nikki's going to chime in. Anywho. First craft you made and paying the first income. I don't know. If that's what you meant as the question... Like, what craft did we make first that, that paid us? We both were doing this for somebody, like for a business first. So it's not like we got our crickets out in our own homes and like made something to sell per se. Becca might have. I don't know. She was cricketing before I met her, I think. Um, but yeah, we just moved from like one business to our own business. So it was like the first Paying, yeah, that's what she means. The, the first thing we made that, that paid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there you go, Nikki. Now, Becca, Becca sometimes, if she gets super passionate about something, she'll just, just like here in town, like friends and family, she'll be like, would you like me to make you X, Y, and Z? Get ready to make some. Yeah. 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 So, like, if, when Becca Easter finds the Easter. passion, yeah. you know, she'll do that and get some, <clears throat> get a little bit of dough. Thank you, everyone. You all are so sweet. Kenny Stones, oh, they do. It's like coming and going, which is interesting. I hope I never get a kidney stone. I'm pretty sure, like, everyone gets a kidney stone at some point in it's their the life. It's the worst pain I've ever been in my oh, life. Becca. The worst. I throw up from the pain Tell every Tell them how big time. Wayne's was at one time. Ten. Ten. Millimeters? Which is, millimeters. are they met? Yeah, because ten sure centimeters would be five inch, almost five inches. I'm pretty sure ten millimeters. millimeters. Yeah. Still way too big for a kid. Mine was stone. two. And apparently, I have a stricture in my ureter. Ureter. Um, I have a stint put in because fun. Oh. <sighs> anyway, oh. Uh, are we going live Thursday? Yeah. In the morning. Yeah, 1030. Don't ask me what for. I'll put it on there later. I, I, was I had on, a whole idea. I was on like a trippy trip. I just got she went on back a trippy trip. Trippy trip today, which is why I've been a little out of it as far as scheduling the live. So I do apologize for that. But yeah, we'll be live <clears throat> Thursday morning at 1030 per usual. I'll schedule that tonight too. I'm trying to figure out when I can do a member only live. I, know, I like to do them on Wednesdays. Um, I'm trying to figure out when I can do it. It maybe it, it may be after Thursday the afternoon. Let's do that. Yeah, because Anna has a visitation in Knoxville, and she'd like me to go with her. What time tomorrow? Uh, like that's too much information. You don't have to tell me that on the live. Yeah, well, well it's later. over lunch time, so it's kind of a tomorrow. I mean Thursday. No, Wednesday. That's why I can't do it oh, tomorrow. So you Thursday, do it Thursday let's, after yeah, the live. Let's do that. Yes, we yeah, can do that. Perfect. So y'all are going to be live with us for like all morning Thursday. Oh, you're going to love it. <laughs> um. 
When is the secret premiere? It's tomorrow, tomorrow morning. We'll let you know for sure. We have to read back through the email to make sure when we can actually spill the beans. Yeah, if we if if those beans spill too early, I will oh, never forgive myself. No, no, that'd be horrible for all parties involved. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, thank you all for being here this evening with us. I did have a wonderful evening with you all um, teaching you Illustrator. It's super fun. Let us know if you have any questions if you're watching this later and you have questions about it. Um, if not, we will see you Thursday afternoon live or tomorrow for a premiere. Don't miss it. <laughs>